What is up everyone, Kenny KO back with another video. Sorry for the delay of video uploads guys, but I have been pretty busy. Without further ado, this video is powered by Generation Iron. If you're ever on Enhanced Athlete, make sure to use my discount code Kenny15 to save some money and don't forget to check out LWP Gains 2 on Instagram as well. And as you can see from the video tile, we're going to do a little bit of bodybuilding history. We're going to jump back to the very first bodybuilder. Now what do I mean by the very first bodybuilder? Obviously bodybuilding has evolved over the years guys. So bodybuilding could be traced all the way back to the ancient times of the Greeks and even the Egyptians where as you can see from the statues that strength was basically a sign of power in Greek and Egyptian societies. So dating back all the way to then is when bodybuilding I guess would really begin but as for the very first bodybuilder or strongman and even who the Mr. Olympia trophy is based off of would be this man here and that is Eugene Sandow and he was born in 1967 and he immediately became a phenomenon and what I really want to point out to you guys about Eugene is obviously he's natural guys because the use of compounds and steroids had not come around on the scene at that time so this is an entirely achievable physique naturally um, do I really think it's that impressive? No, but as for the very first official bodybuilder and famous bodybuilder and father of modern bodybuilding, I think Eugene Sandow really set the bar high. And like I said, for those of you who didn't know, that is who the Mr. Olympia trophy is based off of because like I said, he's the father of bodybuilding, the very first bodybuilder, even though it dates back to the Egyptian and Greek times where you can see the statues of them reminiscing the aesthetic godlike bodies. Now the very first bodybuilding show was staged in 1991 and was billed as the great show. It was developed and promoted by none other than Eugene Sandow himself who we're talking about as the very first bodybuilder. Um, after popularizing bodybuilding through frequent strength expositions and posing displays across Europe and America, Sandow who was 34 at the time decided after three years of planning that the time was right so that's when he started this very first bodybuilding show. Now the total prize money at that time came to 1,000 Guinness, which equivalent to more than $5,000 at the time. First place would receive the equivalent of 2,500, so basically half of the prize pool um, and gold Sandow statue, which is basically the Mr. Olympia statue is what you would say, while second and third would take home silver and bronze statues respectively. Now Eugene is basically the guy who sparked everything for the years to come all the way from the time of Arnold Frank Zane all the way up to present day with Phil Heath and all the competitors now so granted the posing the practice the workouts you know what they looked for on the physique itself as far as what looks aesthetic then versus now was totally different but it jump started what we see now in present day bodybuilding and as we know now, bodybuilders progressively over the years have be become more lean, bigger, fuller muscle bellies. The genetic freaks have come out. Um, obviously, the use of drugs and everything have now been incorporated, taking the physiques to another level. So as you can see from comparing the very first physique of Eugene Sandow to the present day Mr. Olympia Phil Heath, there's going to be quite the difference and it's really remarkable to see how far the sport has come and you know like i said guys you can't say that eugene sandow was the very first i would say he is the very first bodybuilder in the respect of training weights and getting shows started and everything but as for bodybuilding building a great physique one to be admired and have statues built to be aesthetically pleasing would date all the way back to i believe the egyptian and even the Greek times. But it could even go farther back than that, guys. Who really knows how far back, even if you believe in evolution, maybe as primates, you know, being the alpha male, the strongest, the best looking, the most muscular, would be considered a bodybuilder. So it's really up to interpretation. But I wanted to let you guys know about Eugene Sandow. If you want to look more into him, you can go ahead and do so online. But it's quite an interesting story if you want to look up the 19th century and the early stages of bodybuilding. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. Make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic. Signing out.